and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is brought to you by RhinoTech. RhinoTech sent me some blockouts to try out and I thought I would share that with you. Uh, we have two kinds of blockouts. We have water soluble blockout and we have a permanent blockout. Okay, so please remember that you can get all of the RhinoTech products featured in my videos at a 5% discount when you use the Catspit Productions promo code on the Catspit Productions website on the RhinoTech page. RhinoTech has a whole page to themselves, and if you check it out, you can pick up the promo code, you can see a few items that I, I feature on there, and uh, you can get RhinoTech products at a discount. Uh, they offer free shipping on orders over $50, so that's very cool. And um, let's uh, take a look at these two blockouts, all right? First of all, we have two, two formulas of a water-soluble blockout, okay? And they are not permanent, okay? So you can use these to block out pinholes or say you have, you know, the edge of the frame, you want to do that, we can go ahead and use these two items. So uh, check, out, check out the product here. So here are the two blockouts from RhinoTech. They're called RhinoBlock. One is RB202 and the other is RB203. One is a thinner blockout and the other is a little bit thicker. Okay, so it's important to always have your product data sheet, uh, your instructions, the technical details of the products, and I always have that for RhinoTech. They're very good about that. You can get them very easily. And uh, the, the water-soluble blockouts, the thin, thick formulas, will work with plastisol, UV, and solvent inks, and it dissolves in water and it's easily reclaimed. So you can use these on screens that you're going to reuse again and again. All right? Now, for the permanent one, it's a two-part two system. Check it out up close. Now, this one is RhinoTech's permanent blockout. It's RhinoBlock RB201 and it is a two-part blockout and the little bottle that you see there goes one-to-one -one with the big uh, quart container so basically you could split the uh, activator up equally to equal portions of the permanent RB201 blockout. This RB201 is a permanent blockout okay now this is also good for plastisol, UV, or solvent inks but this will not reclaim at all. Um, it will harden in the mesh and stay there pretty much forever, as far as I understand. So uh, this one you would use on screens that you're going to keep up indefinitely, or you might even use this on automatic machines where uh, stencil breakdown can be an issue over long runs. You know, so this might be a good block out to use for stuff like that, where you use uh, a little spreader to you know, coat the whole area of the emulsion and get up close to the stencil, you know what I'm saying, so that on an automatic run, any pinholes that may develop over the run would be permanently blocked by this product, for sure, okay? Um, you can also use for application, you can also use little brushes. I tend to use little brushes when I'm just doing pinholes, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do a little uh, demo of working with some brushes and with the spreader with the uh, thick block out. And um, that's about it. You know, you can use brushes or, or a spreader for, the, for any one of these block outs, okay? And uh, this one I won't do today because I don't have a screen that I really want to permanently harden block out, you know, and get it all, you know, irreclaimable. Is that a word? Irreclaimable. It is now. Okay, so, um, all right, so, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's find the screen and, uh, you know, check the consistency of the thick and thin, and we'll try a little bit of the thick and spread it around. Okay, so here we have the thin block out, which is red, and the thicker block out, which is blue. Okay, and you can use, like I said, you can use little paint brushes. That's what I tend to use, used, use. Okay, and I, for that, you know, for just little pinholes, I would just go ahead and dot them in and brush them in like so. Now, I really don't have a pinhole issue, so 
I really don't have any pinholes to block out for you, but this is basically, I mean, this is the application. You do pinholes like this, you go around and get your pinholes, and with, with the little brush, you could get close into your stencil, like inside the stencil design areas. If you have any pinholes that are inside, you can use a wider brush for a little bit more if you have areas that are bigger that you want to block out, okay? Or you can use a spreader. Okay, which like a lot of people, instead of using tape around the edges, will often use old emulsion or blockout to, to fill in the uh, areas. I'm pointing off of the camera shot, sorry. To fill in these areas where I have tape, actually. And that can, you know, be useful in certain print jobs. Maybe, uh, you know, if it's going to be a long run or, you know, you just don't want to have the tape on the bottom or you're going to, you know, it, it's, uh, it can be handy if you want to do that. Um, so, uh, for the spreader, you would have to have a little bit more quantity of, of your block out on there, and then you would spread it with, with the spreader, okay? And you can actually pull it around and control how much you see that, how I, I can slide this bulk of, of block out around and then spread it in the thickness that I want, you know, over the troublesome areas if you have any pinholes or stencil breakdown or anything like that. Okay, and this application would be the same for the permanent block out, the two part block out. You would just apply it the same way. The only difference is, is that the permanent block out will not come out of the screen ever. Okay, so you have a choice of whether you want to use a permanent block out, which will never ever come out of the screen, or a uh, thick and thin block out solution. Uh, you know, depending on your personal preference, whether you want it to be a little bit thinner or thicker, you can get either, either one of these and they will work the same way, okay? But they are water soluble, so they'll come off when you reclaim, okay? Now, the two-part blockout uh, solution or blockout formula, uh, again, it has a catalyst that you're going to mix. Basically, I think it, you know, it's one-to-one -one because uh, they told me that basically this, this amount of uh, catalyst goes to the one quart. So if I were to mix this whole bottle into the one quart, then it would be activated and it would have a shelf life of about five days. So uh, that's pretty cool. It's a good little product. It's, you know, again, I would say that maybe people printing on an automatic would use some of the permanent uh, block out when they have really long runs and you're, you know, if you're printing in the thousands and you're worried about stencil breakdown over the duration of the print run, I think this one would perform very good for you. Um, if you're just, you know, a little manual printer and you just want to, you know, need, need some block out every now and then when you have pinholes in your exposure or dust, you know, things that cause pinholes or any kind of stencil breakdown or like I said, you want to block out the area instead of using tape between the emulsion and the screen edge. So these could be good for that. I think most of you at home would probably use one of these two formulas because you're going to want to reclaim your screens. Okay, um, the permanent block out would be more of a uh, commercial professional application, I would think, for, for those higher volume print runs or when you're creating a stencil that's going to stay on the screen forever. Okay, so uh, pretty cool stuff and um, don't forget that you can get this product at a 5% discount using the Catspit Productions promo code when you visit the Catspit Productions website and check out the RhinoTech page on the print supplies page. And you can check out all the stuff they have, pick up the code, and save 5% off list pricing. It's good stuff, cool stuff. And uh, RhinoTech is also there for you for technical assistance. If you need that, any help with any other products, they'll be happy to help you out. All right, so uh, that's it for today. Pretty easy video, fun to make, quick one, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Uh, rate, thumbs up, comment below, and please subscribe. We'll see you next time.